Hi everybody, I'm Chris and today I'm presenting you the auto engineer. That's one of the topics that's really, really highly meaningful to myself because I've created this tool on the purpose to create more creative interior concepts on the one side and also pushing forward the boundaries of maybe people that are not so good in sketching and visualizing and with this tool it's pretty easy to create an interior concept in a fast and fun way. So if this is helpful for you, please write it in the comments, like it and share it. And thanks for watching. The Auto Engineer is some kind of PowerPoint plugin where you can create interiors and interior concepts. It's not about the design, it's more about the concept and the ergonomic functions. So for example, you can create abstract interiors with some different kind of luggage. You can also create uh, upscaled interiors in maybe some normal range and you can create also some smaller details. You can do quick measurements for first introductions of your ideas. The fun part of this is that today we don't jump into Maya. Everything you have seen right now is done in PowerPoint. Okay, let's start. First, we create a new presentation, delete everything. Then we will do some little changes. We go to the options and we change we tick build in Datei nicht komprimieren. That means that every image you put in your PowerPoint don't get compressed. So if you scale the image larger and smaller again, there is no loose in the data. So be sure to tick the build in Datei nicht komprimieren. And also standard auflösung, you can go pretty high um, that the data don't get compressed smaller than this. So that's the first thing. Okay, and now it's just copy pasting. I will put a link in the description where you can find all the basic stuff of the auto engineer. And in this PowerPoint is this stuff. There are some base interiors for four seats. There are some five seaters, some two seaters, some one seaters, uh, some extra rows, some basic volumes, some seats, some display parts, some steering wheels air winds and so on. There are lots of lots of parts. And the fun thing is everything of these is in an orthographic view, but it's not a normal orthographic view. It's the orthographic view that's based on the magic angle. I don't want to jump more in details, but the fun thing is that we now can just copy paste, for example, one of these interiors. Let's grab this and put it in. We just can scale it like we want. Then maybe we um, got an idea where our air winds should be. And so we can place them, we can scale them. And the fun part is the perspective is always right. So what we also can do is if I duplicate this and maybe I want to put it at the wall, not at the cockpit, I go to build format and I can mirror that and you see magic happens. It's the perfect angle. So I also can mirror and uh, rotate this ob uh, these objects and they always have the right perspective to put them in. So that's pretty perfect for us because now we can go pretty creative. And for example, if I delete this stuff and start with a blank room, I can, for example, go to the seats, copy one of the seats, put it in, scale it the way I want it. And if I want to, like I mentioned before, I can mirror them. And so I can create a small, simple interior. Sorry for the, for the German mix here, but I think in the English version, it's nearly the same. So. For example, if I want the seat in front of this seat, I have to right click, build in the foreground, and then uh, I can make the right hierarchy for these objects. That's the only thing that's pretty necessary to know. Um, and with this, now you can go pretty crazy. You can uh, build in details. You can grab some luggage. You can grab some measurements. You can grab some persons, for example, let's do an interior where one person is sitting and one person is standing. So we take this one. 
maybe just put the dude here and maybe some sitting dude here and we're ready to go so it's pretty pretty easy and fast to create some concepts what's highly important it's not about the styling it's not about the aesthetics it's just about getting the right layouts for the persons understanding the volume the size of peoples in the volume and the functional layout so next fun part is we can even go more detailed if I maybe change the interior to some more normal layout this one copy paste it in and I want a steering wheel but I don't want a finished steering wheel maybe I just want this circle so I copy it so I create a new layer and place the steering wheel on this new layer I scale it pretty pretty big take a look again that the background is transparent and now look at these I can copy this foil in here and it's transparent what is it good for it's perfect for you can now change details here and it's always getting updated here so for example think about we want to add some buttons or something like this that's cool and tada the buttons will update here immediately so that's pretty pretty fun because now you can also uh, do maybe details in the seat and do also the same stuff just copy paste it here copy the seat here scale it up big that we can work in detail put this out this in again and maybe we want to do some display in the back side of the of the seat so let's jump in the display part copy this one and this one placing the displays right putting this in the front grouping together scale it up and we got it on this plate also so that's it on a base level there are also some opportunities how to create 3d data in powerpoint it's not that hard it can go pretty pretty quick to make own little modules there is also a way how you can measure your stuff pretty pretty exactly in powerpoint but this is stuff we can maybe talk about in another video so if you're interested in this stuff if it's helpful for you please write it in the comment and see you next time